Back here with the Mega Man X4. This is going to be the final stage. We're going to face Sigma uh, three times. Because why have two boss phases when you can have three? <laughs> so the first phase we're going to have here is the for your final journey? one where he says, Prepare for your final journey. Very uh, pirate-esque voice he's got going there. So he's going to kind of hang out above us. Which is nice because we can just keep nailing him with this shot right here. And every third time he appears, he's going to do that swinging scythe attack, which is uh, very frustrating because uh, I can't consistently dodge it. There we go. That time it worked. You kind of have to duck into that corner at that exact moment that he throws it out. But other than that, yeah, he's pretty pretty straightforward. It's if you're taking a hit, it's going to be from that that scythe. Speaking of scythe, he's going to use it it's a lot more offensively in this phase right here. This is still an attack I'm like having trouble dodging. There's like so much like shit flying around in this. Like what? There we go, okay. So we're not, we're, do, we're doing pretty freaking well. We have about three quarters health, which is around where you want to be. And the nice thing here is that they're gonna give us a heal. So that should put us right about at full. Right about at full. Ha 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 ha. Feel my incredible power. Drown in the empty vastness of space. Prepare to become space dust. <laughs> <laughs> Not one of your better taunts, Sigma. Yeah, so that does take us to full. So we have full, and then we have two sub tanks. So we're in pretty good shape. So we want to have the ground hunter active. Right, took a dumb hit there. Already, that already took a half my freaking life. That's real bad. See, like each of those freaking does like a sliver of damage. It's not good. See that there? You can kind of rain. rain damage on him. Come on. Show me something. Whoops, okay. I'm trying to save my sub tanks for like when I actually need it. Okay, now I probably need it. <laughs> Don't wanna, don't wanna regret it later on now. Man. Almost there on that one. Man, I can never dodge that attack completely. That one's a fucking annoying one. Two hits. That one's always giving me two hits. That's fucking annoying. Oh, we got him. Okay, there we go. So for some reason it has two separate health bars. 
Oh, so I guess we can still gotta beat this fucking guy. Which is annoying. Oh, darn it. Oh my god. Bruh. Okay. Just took three freaking hits for no reason. Man! What a pain. Okay. Okay. Man. Bro. Just nasty, man. This is a real bad play. On my behalf. Okay, we're not doing too bad. That's the easiest one to dodge, it just like spits out. Like ice. Or whatever the fuck it does. It is interesting that he there's like the boss has like two health bars. Two different health bars, I mean. There's like two parts to the boss. Yeah, that's the tough one to get a hit in. As long as they don't give me the, the yellow one, the electricity one, then I'm pretty confident, because otherwise I just like keep taking stupid ass hits. Oh god. Unforced errors. Yeah, I could have. Could have finished him right there, but. Right here, which will have to be. There we go! There we go! I felt good about that one. That, that, that was actually a. Uh, I wasn't low on health, but I had to use both sub tanks, so. I kind of feel cheap about that, but. That was definitely a challenging third phase after. Kind of an underwhelming first phase and uh, a slightly frustrating. Only, only slightly frustrating second phase. There's only that one attack I was bad at dodging where he throws out all the boomerangs. Anyway! Hee hee hee! What's so funny? This weapon is aimed straight at Earth! Already! No one can stop it now! Damn! Ha 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 ha! Goodbye, X! Man, I could see Sigma explode a fucking million times in a row and I would not believe that he's dead. He's gonna come back, right? He's gonna come back in X5, and X6, and X7, and X8. And if they ever make any new X series games, he's gonna come back. That's that's part of it. Okay. General! The weapon can be stopped with my body. But then you'll Many of my men have died. As their leader, I must leave with them. X, please forgive our foolishness. General! At least he's useful for fucking something now. Like, I can charge, but I can't actually fire. Cutscene time! Headquarters. Zero. It's good to see you're safe, X. I was really worried about you. Sorry about that. Don't worry. It's all over. Go home and rest. You've earned it. But Zero. What? What if I become one of the Mavericks? Don't ask such silly question. I'm breaking contact now. Wait, Zero. I'm I'm serious. Zero. If if I become a Maverick. You have to take care of me. Don't be ridiculous. Now hurry on back. Promise me. Zero.
Man, I'm sure that voice acting was better in the original, but who did they hire for that, man? Zero is just straight up talking in a monotone like he's taking your fucking order at Subway. And X, I meant to say this in the last cutscene, uh, what we saw, but he, he sounds like he's five years old. <laughs> and he was like, after Zero had like cut off the connection, he's still like, please, Zero, <laughs> he's still like trying to talk to him. Oh my god. I, I actually, I enjoy having the cutscenes so much that the voice acting like doesn't bother me. Like I'd rather have the cutscenes with bad voice acting than no cutscenes at all after three games of not having any of them. So that's a nice touch. Um, but that was like a weird note to go out on. Like, oh, X is trying to pour his heart out to Zero and Zero is kind of just like, fucking man up. <laughs> what are you complaining for? So, oh man, okay, that's the end of the game. That kind of came abruptly. I guess the big deal was that General sacrificed himself to stop the weapon. Uh, we can see the weapon exploding in the background there. Uh, yeah, man, this is, a, this is a pretty enjoyable Mega Man game. Overall, I would say the stages just felt generally like they were too short, but I did enjoy just having, you know, like that random stage where you're on the bike the whole time and your stuff like that makes makes it really enjoyable. I, I think this is the game I used other weapon powers the least. Like, with previous games, for certain bosses, I may have kind of caved and said, okay, fuck the buster, let me actually use the thing they're weak to. But on this one, I'm, I'm pretty sure I used the buster almost exclusively throughout the entire game until the ending right there with Sigma, just because, you know, at some point you gotta, gotta cave and gotta, gotta, gotta play it the way they, they intend for you to play it. So, yeah, I think it was overall easier than the other ones have been. And even the stages at the end were, you know, in, in, in fighting Colonel and in fighting Double in general and all that, those were just incredibly short. And the boss rush stage, that, that didn't have like a preamble or anything, so we didn't even have to, to struggle through that. And it was kind of weird how they tacked on the Sigma part at the very end. And it was kind of annoying because they don't let you escape and come back in. Like if you want to refill your sub tanks, you have to escape, go refill, and then come back in, do the boss rush again, and then get you to get you to Sigma. And yeah, that, that, that final Sigma stage, or final Sigma phase, uh, that was that was real. That was real good. That was definitely a, a very very unique boss fight. And it would have been would have been a pretty big struggle without the two sub tanks. Like, I guess I only needed one. I, I definitely took some clumsy hits. I kept taking hits to the to that when the yellow thing would shoot out the electricity, and then and then when the head was on the bottom left and would spit out random random gunk, I took a bunch of damage there. But that was definitely a unique experience. And I think I think as of right now, it says the battle has ended. Yet somehow X doesn't feel quite right. What caused all those robots to turn to Mavericks? Will it happen to me someday? Oh, that was in quotes. Will it happen to me someday? His ex just realized his tragic destiny? It appears that X will have to solve this mystery one day. Now, I'm a true hero, according to that medal. <laughs> so I think we're actually going to go back and play through this one more time as Zero, because, man, Zero is my favorite character, um, and, and one of my favorite characters. In, in all gaming and it feels like their stories were pretty disjointed like we didn't see Zero until that very last cutscene we just we didn't see him throughout the entire game so I'm assuming Zero's path is gonna be pretty similar in that we won't see X at all which would be kind of weird to play through a whole Mega Man game without X but uh, yeah I think we'll, we'll take it on as Zero we'll have that coming up for you next time the second playthrough of Mega Man X4